Welcome to Wednesday, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Daniel Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. In Counseling Center News, if you filled out an application to attend PPCC this fall, they will be here next Wednesday, April 11th, to help you select classes. You do need an appointment for this visit, so stop by the Counseling Center to pick that up. On Thursday, April 12th, college visits kick off with the reps of Black Hill State University in South Dakota. Juniors interested in attending CSU Fort Collins after graduation, the admissions team will be here at 11 a.m. on April 20th in the Lower Commons. To attend this visit, you must be passing your fourth hour class. Stop by the Counseling Center to sign up. On Tuesday, April 24th, mark your calendar for the visit from the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team. They will be in the WHS auditorium at 6.30 p.m. with a full-blown presentation on life as a cadet, as well as how to navigate the admissions process. If you are even slightly interested or curious about attending the academy, bring your parents and join them for this presentation. Recent academy grads will be available to answer any questions you may have. Seniors, if you did not pick up your Herf Jones orders and it was paid for, check with Mrs. Abeda in the Counseling Center to pick that up. Remember, caps and gowns won't be here until the first week of May. And finally, for seniors, now that we're into the month of April, there will be lots of graduation information coming at you from the Counseling Center. Please remember to check in with Mrs. Abeda with your college acceptance letters, scholarships, grants, and all other awards you may have received, even if you're not accepting them. They want to ensure you receive proper recognition at Senior Awards Night. And now, let's check in with Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Wednesday, everybody! Hi! I hope y'all enjoyed spring break. Hey, you know it's hump day. It is hump day. Hump day! Hump day. Hump day. Lasagna! I like lasagna. Mm. Yum yum. Garfield. And then Thursday we're having... Philly cheesesteak. Yeah! Philly cheesesteak. Yep. Hope, hope to see you then. Philly hey, just on, just on the offside here, off chance, you know, it's really getting almost to be crunch time and I need you to start paying your lunch charges. So please consider doing that. I'll send everybody out that owes something and... Take care of it. And on the lighter side, Wednesday's game day. Board game club after school today. Yeah. <laughs> Sneak and, and I And I donated a lot of board games, so you need to go check them out. Have a great one. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, you've heard us say this countless times. Please remember to add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. If you need something to consume that is free, check out the free book cart in the library. They have a variety of selections available. NHS members, you will have a mandatory meeting this Friday at lunch in the library. Please check in with Mrs. HK or Brandon Perry if you are unable to attend. We'll be back after the Gladiator Sports Update with prom and other events happening this week. But first, here's John Christopherson with some sporting news. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm John Christofferson with your Gladiator Sports Update. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. You heard right, it's dodgeball tournament time. Sign up outside of Ms. Melton's room. The cost is $5 per five member team. The tournament will take place the week before prom and winners will play at the prom assembly. The deadline to sign up is April 11th. Will the bad hombres seek another title? You'll have to come watch to find out for yourselves. If you like eating at Panda Express, the NJROTC cadets would like your support this Friday, April 6th, from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. at the Highway 8587 location. See a cadet for a flyer and a portion of your proceeds will go to the NJROTC. Ladies, if you are interested in playing volleyball next year, open gyms start this afternoon from 3.15 to 4.15 and every Wednesday until May. Check in with Ms. Lacey in room 105 for details and information. Our boys in blue played lots of games over the break and penciled in numerous wins, but they also suffered a huge loss against Pueblo South on Thursday afternoon. The boys dust themselves off tomorrow afternoon on Big Blue at 4 p.m. against the Elizabeth Cardinals. Come rally the boys back to the winner's circle. We'll have scores for you on Friday. In track news, the varsity track team traveled to Gary Berry Stadium to kick off their spring break and earned several strong scores. Ryan Outler clocked a first in the 800 meters and a third in the 1600. Likewise, Miles Meta came in second in the 3200. In the field, we had several scores in fourth place. Elijah Watley earned a fourth in the 100 meter hurdles, and the four by 100 meter relay team also took a fourth. Caleb Maska also managed to edge in a fourth place in the triple jump. The men's track team has several athletes close to breaking into the top three position, and it's exciting to watch their progress. The men's team came in sixth overall among the 27 teams at the meet. 
On the lady side of the track and field, two notable finishes came from Sophia Mena, who took fourth place in the 3200 meters, and Aaliyah Ricketts, who also took fourth in the triple jump. The ladies finished 14th out of 27 teams. The teams head to the John Tate Invitational this Friday and Saturday in Pueblo at Dutch Clark Stadium. The ladies soccer team took on the Elizabeth Cardinals yesterday afternoon, but is still having some difficulties and recorded a loss. The Ultimate Frisbee team could not find their mojo on Saturday before spring break and recorded a giant loss against the university school. Now that the weather is nicer, the team would appreciate some support. Catch them outside on Saturday when they take on TCA in a doubleheader at El Pamar Sports Complex starting at 10 a.m. followed by their second match at noon. Our ladies tennis team will return to the court tomorrow for a match on the road against the Mitchell Marauders. We'll have scores for you on Friday for those matches. Likewise, the boys swim and dive team will be back in the water on April 12th at home against Pueblo Centennial. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm John Christofferson, and now back to you, Moose and Daniel. Thanks, John. Glad. It's already April, and soon, final exams will be on our doorstep. No worries. NHS has you covered because tutoring is back. Starting tomorrow, April 5th, NHS will be offering tutoring sessions in the library during advisory. If you need help with a class or studying for a test, pick up a tutoring pass from the library on Thursday morning, then come back during advisory. NHS will offer tutoring sessions in the library every Thursday during advisory until school ends. They will have computers available for sessions. Juniors and seniors, the masquerade prom is less than three weeks away on Saturday, April 21st from 6.30 p.m. to midnight at the Doubletree World Arena. Ticket prices went up before spring break and are now $50 per person and will stay that way until April 17th. Because they must have a head count for dinner, you cannot buy tickets at the door. Get your tickets in the business office. Please make note of these simple rules for wearing masks as a prom. All masks must be pre-approved, so please check in with Ms. Molino in room 166 or Mrs. Fowler in room 144 during lunch and after school through Friday before prom. You can wear your mask in the ballroom area, but when you are in the general hotel area, including at check-in, chaperones must be able to see your beautiful faces. Oh, and remember, masks must be removable and full face masks are not allowed. Prom outside guest forms are now available in the main office. The deadline to return them to ensure your date can attend the prom is next Friday, April 13th. Ladies, come shop for your prom dress in Becca's Closet. Make your appointment in the library with Miss HK, and remember, the dress you select is yours to keep. And finally, if you are looking to earn some extra cash this summer and are at least 17 years old, WSD3 Facilities is hiring. They are looking for summer grounds crew workers. You can expect to do some of the following duties, landscaping, painting, playground repair, and moving furniture. This is the full-time position for the summer and you must have a valid driver's license. To apply, please go to WSC3.org. The deadline is May 11th. That's all for our news today. I'm Moose Santos. I'm Daniel Robinson and this is your KWHS News. Hope you join us on Friday.